Hey guys, what's going on today? So in today's video, this one's really for the parents out there. And by parents, I mean parents of much younger children. You know, I don't know about everybody else, but sometimes my wife and I, we do struggle a little bit with trying to keep the kids entertained with, you know, the pandemic happening right now. And as a result, sometimes we're both on calls and, you know, they may need something to do. And they'll be like, mommy and daddy, we're bored, we need something to do. And so what I did is I whipped up a really quick little shortcut. And in the shortcut, I'm going to demo to you in a very quick second. What it'll do is it'll allow you to go ahead and pick a Disney character and it'll go ahead and web scrape a website and then take that Disney character, bring back a coloring sheet that it'll just send directly to my printer. I just got to hit print on my actual iPad. So let me show you how it works. So it's this shortcut up here called print coloring sheets. So when I go ahead and print it and let's say I type in Mickey, for example, and I hit done. It's going to go ahead and query all the different Mickey pictures that are on that website. And then it'll randomly pick one Mickey picture just so that if I were to do this again a couple hours later, which is pretty common around here, um, it'll be at least a different picture they can go ahead and color as well. And so uh, you just go ahead and, you know, whether you want it in black and white or whatever you want to do here, you just hit print and then it just sends it to my printer and my kids know where to go to my printer to pick up the picture, which is great. I'll give you another example. So I'm actually going to do Mickey again, just to show you that it's randomly picking a new picture every single time, just so that, you know, the kids don't get bored with the same picture. So as, as you can see, this is a different picture. So what I'll do now is I'll show you an example of, say, for example, Minnie. And I hit done. And so now there's a picture of Minnie Mouse. And then finally, we'll do one of, let's say, Donald Duck, for example. So I'll type in Donald, hit done. And there you go. There's a picture of Donald Duck. Um, so it's really that simple. It's, it's so convenient because I can just do this and they get, they're occupied for the time that they're not in school or the time that they're not in, you know, learning online. Uh, so this is, this is, this is great from that perspective. All right, guys. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this off on my iPhone and show you how you would use something like Siri with this. So let's give this a shot. Hey Siri, print coloring sheets, Donald. And so it runs a script and then there you go, there's a picture of Donald Duck. So the next time you are in the middle of a meeting and you need to just quickly go on pause and do something like this, you can just quickly go ahead and run this command and your kids will at least be entertained for at least 20 minutes. And that's sometimes more than enough time for a meeting. Um, so obviously up here, you just go and select the printer and then hit print. So that's how this would work with Siri. Okay, let me go ahead and open up the actual shortcut so you see what I've done here. So basically we're going to first ask for an input, which is the name of the Disney character. I've created this website called HTTPS uh, coloring sheets .app forward slash, and it's going to be whatever you're asking it to do. So you're more than welcome to go ahead and use that URL. It's going to get the actual content from that URL. It's going to resize it so that it'll fit on an actual sheet of paper and then go ahead and print it. So the way coloring sheets HerokuApp.com works is in the background, it's actually scraping another website. So the reason why I built it like this and didn't use the actual website itself is in case I needed to go back and change the website in the back end. So I went to the robots.txt uh, file on that website. It didn't see anything that I couldn't web scrape, but you know, if somebody ever reaches out to me and says, I appreciate you don't web scrape my site, I'll be more than happy to change the link in the back end to something different. Um, but anyways, regardless, I wanted to build that flexibility in here. So this is how the code works. You're going to go ahead and import requests, beautiful soup, JSON, and random. Um, you're going to go ahead and enter the character name. So I've used just color.net just to give them a shout out here as well. Um, and then on beautiful soup, what it's going to go ahead and do is it's going to go ahead and pull the title, the links, the sublinks, the image list as well. And what it's going to do is it's going to make a list of all the titles, the links, sublinks, and image and, and images of that specific character. And then what it's going to do after that is when it's returning the image list, it's going to basically have a list of a whole bunch of different URLs, which is a URL to that image. And I've picked a random choice here so that every single time, if it's siphoning through, say, for example, 50 pictures, it's randomly picking a picture every single time I call the API. So it's not something that's going to be consistently running with the same picture all the time. Otherwise, your kids are going to get pretty bored very quickly. But that is essentially how this works. But feel free to use that URL. Um, I created it so that anybody can use it. Um, and like I said, if, if, you know, if, if I ever run into an issue where I need to go ahead and change the backend link, I can take care of that as well. But 
Give this a shot. Let me know what you think. Hopefully you did like this. And if you do, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and of course, stay safe. Thanks very much for your time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.